Sometimes, when you're working in Canvas, you want to put in grades that don't count towards the final grade. I'm going to give you a few examples of where and how you'd use this. So I'm putting in a midterm grade. I like to do midterm grades because I want to give students feedback on how they're doing. And I want to do it as a letter grade, and I want them, if this is a way for me to advertise future classes, tell them about tutoring help, just sort of check in with them to give them some additional feedback. So I've called it midterm grade. Points are zero. Um, assignment, I would probably put in gr final grades or something like this. And I'm displaying it as a letter grade. And then I check, do not count this assignment towards the final grade, and put it as no submission, no due date. And so I'm going to save this. And this is going to let me do a couple things. Now I can go to the grade book and my midterm grade, hmm, I don't think I published that. So I'm going to publish it, and then I can go to the grade book. Always check to publish. And now that I'm in grades, I have my midterm grade. So I can go in here and I can assign the student a grade, and I can put comments in here. So here's their A. So I can do A. And I can do, you are doing a great job. Consider taking a JavaScript. I actually get way more into detail with this, but, and I could post the comment. But this has another advantage. In some of our classes, we have instructors who will deduct grades where people will lose so that they're a percentage, they, they can lose a letter grade if they miss a certain number of classes. This is your place to document it. So let's say that they have a B. Your grade has dropped one letter because you have three unexcused absences. This is a great way to document that. So there's lots of ways that you can use this. And I would do this on a final grade if I want to document anything. I'll do it for a midterm grade. And I do something a little funkier with these. I actually do these ungraded assignments with a link back to discussion board posts. Just put a second due date on discussions. So if I have a discussion, I'll have the discussion in with a due date. And then I'll have another assignment that doesn't count towards the final grade, that give, but I put in points, but I have it not count towards the final grade so that I remind them how much points replying to other people are um, worth. And I found that my discussion board responsives have increased significantly by adding those ungraded assignments. So having assignments that don't count toward the final grade are great ways to put in reminders to your students and to help them um, understand why their grade is what it is. So if their percentage was at a 95% and they are losing because of their attendance, this is a really good way to document it so you're very clear with your students.